it. Oh, I got it! I have a great idea. This year, the Who's will pay. It's beginning to look a lot like holiday time. We thought you'd like a special treat, a story all in rhyme. Today we'll give you a backstage look, an update of that classic book. You've heard about the movie new. Now the Grinch is a video game too. Universal uh, approached us in summer uh, 99 uh, with concept The Grinch, which was a video game based on a movie to be released uh, in uh, November uh, 2000. But I think The Grinch is a great character because it allowed us to reverse the perspective that a gamer has usually, which is be a good guy. In The Grinch, you are a bad guy that, that can't stand love. We tried as much as we could to uh, mimic what Jim Carrey would do in the movie. And so basically what we did is we brought that back and then we used that as a reference for the animation for The Grinch. It would seem to be a cinch that all would know about the Grinch. Alas, it is not true. They were French-Canadian and hadn't a clue. At first it was like, who is the Grinch? I didn't really know, so we got the uh, actual cartoon that was made. And through the internet, you know, looking at references, books, these were really the references we had for the Grinch. And if I knew him before, he would be probably one of my idols, because the Grinch, he's so funny. Everybody has a little bit of the Grinch inside. The Grinch's mission was most foul. When he heard those who's, oh, how he'd howl. So as the tale goes, he set out to see if he might steal Christmas away that same Christmas night. I'd say the game uh, departs from the movie as soon as we get out of Whoville. What we've done is we've created environments that didn't exist in the story. As soon as you get out of Whoville, you go to Who Forest, Who Lake, you go to the dump, In order to keep joy from the Who's, the Grinch stops at nothing to make certain they lose. What kind of tricks and what kind of toys will this Grinch use to scare Who girls and Who boys? What we really wanted with the gadgets in the game, we wanted to give the player the feeling that they were actually building them. So what we did is we scattered blueprints of the gadgets throughout the levels. And the player can't just use a gadget, you know, it's not like it, the, the gadget is just floating around. You have to find the blueprints, go back to your computer machine in the Grinch cave, which where everything is starting, and then build up the gadget, uh, just much like a puzzle, I'd say. You're just moving the pieces together until you fit them in place, and then the gadget is activated. I'd say for me, uh, one of the best, I think, is the uh, rotten egg uh, shooter. I think, I mean, just the idea of shooting rotten eggs, I thought were pretty funny. So green egg, I should say. But, you know, the green egg launcher, I thought, I thought was an interesting weapon to use. You know, just throwing eggs in, you know, people's window and see them, you know, running because it smells so bad. I thought it was pretty interesting. The Grinch is really fiendishly crude. He likes to be rotten, nasty, and rude. But can this new game hope to cause such fear? The answer is quite devilishly clear. The Who's will cringe and quiver and hide as the gamers give in to their Grinchier side. Time for a facelift, Mr. Mayor. The interesting thing about the tricks in the Grinch was that we needed to use the tricks and put that in a video game format. So we had to think about tricks that could be played and you know with a controller. The funniest tricks are those against the mayor. Let's say you have like uh, the mayor's posters scattered across Whoville for instance and then you would have to paint a mustache or change <laughs> him to a clown. Yeah, great! The Grinch does love to tease and to taunt, but now we must know more about this game that we want. Is it easy to play? Is it done in a day? Oh, what do you say? What do you say? You really 
don't look healthy. The game is constructed in a way that a inexperienced gamer can easily go through the game, have fun, and finish it, and see the ending. But also, to complete the game 100% takes a lot of dedication. I'd say one of the most challenging puzzles is what we call the clock tower. In the movie, you have a tower uh, which shows, displays that uh, the day is left before Christmas. The idea is basically to change the days that are left just to make people free. We now bid adieu to our inventive team. Our excitement can barely stay in at the seam. To you gamers we wish with all of our might. Happy holidays to all and to all a Grinchy night.